everybody, today I'm here to introduce you to my new favorite tool in the studio, which really helps preserve what little posture I have and keep my neck and back in a little bit better shape than it usually is. It's this drafting table here. And some of you might have seen my other review on the Daler Roni Art Sphere tabletop easel. This one has an equally difficult name to say. I'm gonna have to read it probably because it's so hard to remember. It's the Martin Pro Draft Deluxe Parallel Straight Edge Drawing Board. So what is a parallel straight edge drawing board? I'm going to show you how this works so that you can use it to help your posture and to keep your back and neck from hurting as much in your hours hunched over the drawing board. This is literally the drawing board, like we're going back to the drawing board with this one. So the um, the Art Sphere, the Daler Roni one that I really like, that one's great because it lifts the artwork up towards you and you can really rotate the um, tabletop in any direction, but it was really small. So like I said, I literally had to go back to the drawing board because I normally work, I would say 11 by 14 or at least nine by 12. And those drawings could not fit on that other tabletop easel. So I was looking for something that would raise my artwork up, keep me from hunching over, which is the common problem that I have that winds up really hurting my neck and my back, and um, I'll be able to accommodate a larger piece of artwork. So I first want to show you how this one raises up and you can see this view from back here. It's got a handle, so you can actually pick it up and carry it with you by that handle if you want to. And then it's got this little contraption on the back and this lever, and you can adjust it to multiple different heights. I think there are like five different heights, so you can have it at a really low height, or you can raise it all the way up to the highest height here, like that. And so then you can see that's really giving me an angle here that I do not have to hunch at all. I do have to raise my arm, and so that's gonna affect my shoulder joint, and you have to pay attention to that if you're working for long hours like that, but it's a really great asset to bring my drawing up to me so that I'm not slumped over my drawing. So then let's take a look at some of these other features that are included in the name. And I can either leave it at this angle so that you guys can see it a little bit better, or I can set it flat. Like a lot of times I actually work from this drawing board with it flat. Um, so you can adjust it as you need. The next thing I want to show you is the parallel straight edge, because that's something that you can really use in drawing in order to achieve a true vertical and horizontal. So this is your parallel straight edge, and you can see it's got a little, no um, I don't know what to call that. It's like a screw basically that you can adjust on this side. You can tighten it so that it stays firm in one place and you can't move it, or you can loosen it to adjust it up or down. When I'm working on the drawing board flat, what I do is I lay it flat, I adjust this up, and get it out of my way, put my drawing here, and then I have nothing um, limiting my access to the drawing. When I'm working on it with a little bit of adjustment in the height, or a lot of adjustment in the height, I'm going to slide it down here. I wanna make sure you guys can see that. And then I'm going to tighten it up, and then it acts as a ledge that I can put my drawings on or my pencil on. Um, <laughs> the other thing that it really does is you can slide your paper underneath it. I've got all this stuff here to show you different things, so let's take turns. You can loosen this up. You can actually slide your paper if it weren't bent on the corner, like this one is, underneath. You can then make sure that it's aligned, tighten it, and draw a perfectly horizontal line if you wish to use this as your ruler. The way that I prefer to use it though 
is rather than keeping my paper underneath, I'm going to, let me bring this back down. I'm going to use it as a ledge. And with this one, I might have to, because of the height of my paper, I might have to adjust it so that the paper goes underneath because my triangle is not that tall. Okay, so I tuck my paper underneath and then I line up my triangle with this parallel bar. And what that does is that gives me access to be able to make sure that all of my verticals are true verticals. So I only have to slide my triangle just ever so slightly. And you can see there were some that I drew by hand that actually needed some corrections. And then I'm going to get all of the verticals on this side of the drawing measured perfectly true vertical rather than a hand sketch that's not quite exactly accurate. So this triangle creates your perfect vertical against your perfect horizontal. And you know that this is horizontal because it's a parallel bar. So that's another way that you can use it. And then I think the last thing that's really important is that you want a surface that's really smooth. This has this melamine surface. It does scratch up a little bit if you have grit on the um, table surface and you're moving and sliding the parallel board. So you want to keep it clean, but I, I just wipe this off with either alcohol and a paper towel or like a bathroom cleaning product or kitchen cleaning product in a paper towel. It cleans up really easily. And then the last thing I want to show you is that in this photo here, you can see that when I'm using it in my home studio, I have an L shaped desk and I add this over top of the L so that it creates a corner. And so you can see that in the photo that it's like bridging the two desks so that this is in the corner. It's actually giving me more workable, usable surface space that I wouldn't have without it. Okay, you all, so that is the, my review of the Martin Pro Draft Deluxe Parallel Straight Edge Drawing Board, if you can say that five times fast. <laughs> Um, so it's hard to say. It was a little bit difficult to order. I ordered it from Blick. Um, they, I, we had some problems, but their customer service really took great care of me. And this is not a sponsored video at all. It's just a product that I really like that I've been using now for a year and a half in the studio. And I think it's really helped me with my back and neck pain. And it really accommodates just about any size artwork that I want to do. So. I hope that this um, tip helps you guys out and that you find it as a good resource um, for your own studio.